What's up, y'all? Another day, another day in these streets. Um, and I'm talking to myself and so I need to get on here and just say, I don't even know where this is going, but the reflection that I'm sitting with right now, and I just drove past some uh, Black Lives Matter uh, protesters holding signs in New Plymouth, Taranaki. First of all, New Plymouth is like one of the most racist towns in all of New Zealand, according to my Maori friends. I've not spent enough time here to know for certain, um, but I do know that it's, you know, it certainly has a history of racism, but it was beautiful to just see, you know, tiny, it's a tiny town, and in this tiny town, there were just, you know, people on the corner, and I think I probably need to go back. I might turn back around and go back over there. I'm on heck of deadline for a book, for this book. So I'm also having this moment where I'm like, I'm supposed to be doing something I'm totes not doing. Anyway, I digress. What I wanted to say is I'm sitting here in this reflection at this moment about how, how confusing it is as a black person to watch people wake up to the nightmare you've been living in forever. And then rush to get on the train. Um, you know, we're, so there's, we are in a collective moment of whiplash. I think that's what I want to say. We are in this collective moment of whiplash where all of a sudden this massive like, bow, we're all awake. Some of us, those who desire to be awake are awake, awakened to the circumstances that is white supremacist vi delusional violence. Um, and like everyone, you know, white folks woke up at the same time and, and are like, oh my gosh, I've been in this delusion and now I need to, um, awaken. The problem is that there is a The problem is that there's this expectation that those of us who have been living in this forever should just welcome you out of your slumber. We're so happy you're up now. And that's just not, it's not true. You know, just imagine Snow White and the seven dwarfs and Snow White was sitting there, you know, sleeping for years. The dwarfs been working their asses off. The dwarfs, the dwarfs have been on the grind. The reason Snow White could wake up to a, to a world where she wasn't dead is because they care for her sleeping ass. And that is the collective experience of black people and people of color. That we've been tending to the heinousness of the outcomes of white supremacist delusion while y'all just woke up. And then the expectation is that we should feel super warm and fuzzy because you finally woke up. And I think that we, yeah, I, th I think that that's just not going to happen, friends. It's just not going to happen. There is, um, there is a cost to your sleeping. And that cost was taken out of the lives of black people and people of color all over the world. Your slumber was not free. And so what I feel like needs to happen is that there needs to be a great and grand grace. Um, yeah, like you should wake up and you should get to work like, oh, what a, let me find out what I missed. And don't let me call the people who've been taking care of all the things that happened while I was sleeping, because that's just more work for them. You know, but while I was sleeping, those people wrote some books. Those people put out podcasts. Those people, those people put whole tool kits together for the day that I would wake up. They put out entire tool kits. James Baldwin, Toni Morrison. I mean, these are ancestors, right? Audrey Lord, the Kambahi um, River Collective, the Tenants of Reproductive Justice, 
Ella Baker, June Jordan. I'm putting you on game right now. So the, the assignment, friends who just woke up from slumber, is not to then DM me and be like, what was that person's name again? Can you tell me about them? <laughs> the assignment is to go and look, to say anti-racism resources in Google. And I'm not saying nothing new, y'all. Y'all know that you know this and the feigning of like I don't know is you know is is the way in which white people collectively mammy black people. You of course you're gonna take care of me. Gone with the wind. Right? Oh, I don't know how to do this. Of course, the black people will help me. They'll come to my house and nurse my babies and cook my food and wash my toilets. That's the energy of that expectation. It's a different expectation, but the energy is the same energy. So, welcome to awakeness. Welcome to awakeness. We've been up. And so now you have to catch up. And you need to catch up with great um, self-sufficiency. With some significant self-sufficiency. And guess what? There were white people that woke before you. Find them. They can, they can tell you what to do. They were awake. There was a few of them amongst the, the dwarves. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I recognize that that's probably an ableist ass tale that's occurring to me in this moment. I have to, I have to pull me up and let me know. Um, glad you awake. Get to work. <laughs>